Now, just because you may have missed or not seen some of my previous videos, uh, you can read this on your own. You're standing along the historic route of the conquistador Hernando de Soto and his expedition through the Florida Native American territories in his quest for gold and glory. So uh, this is the uh, the sign here. It talks about the, uh, the Greenway that uh, never happened. You see those signs everywhere. And then you got the, uh, this talks about the Ross Prairie. And I did want to get this on the video. See, so when you come into the parking lot, the actual Ross Prairie Trail is right over here, uh, going off into the, the woods there. And what's really, really nice is when you're done hiking, you got this really nice picnic shelter right here where you can just hold up and have a beer and have a, a candy bar. And uh, and then you, you, you know me in bathrooms. <laughs> These are really nice bathrooms. There's actually a shower in there, but they want you to pay $8 for a shower. And uh, I'd say catch me if you can, but I'm not sure. Maybe that's just so you could get it turned on. That'd be the smart way to do it. But I don't know why they want $8 for a shower. But I just want to walk up here a little bit because when I first came here, I couldn't. I knew the Florida Trail came through here, but I couldn't figure out how to get it because, you know, the bike trail. Now, that's uh, that's one reason that we're here today. It rained and rained and rained and rained all day yesterday. So I figured that the mountain bikers wouldn't be here because you'll see when we get back in here that you share the Florida Trail with the bikes. And, uh, man, I tell you, I almost got ran over because <laughs> I have hiked this, but I never got it on video. And so... Actually, where we're heading is we're going to be going back towards the Shangri-La. If you recall, we did that come in the opposite direction. I just didn't make it to this spot. It was too long a hike for me that day. Um, but we're going to be out here a good long day today. So we'll definitely knock out the Florida Trail all the way back to the Shangri-La. And uh, I do want to come out here. There's a primitive campsite back in here and, uh, and do some camping uh, and then, you know, continue this way on the florida trail because it actually crosses right over here across the road 200 and then goes back into the woods that way and i've done some of that trail just haven't gotten it on video so we'll do it again let's get started okay just as we're getting onto the trail so you can see i came to this side of the back of the bathrooms and this is the florida trail actually running right along this fence and uh you got a little rv campground not my style of camping that's what i talk about you know why don't they plant some trees in there? Can you imagine that you just get scorched in the summertime? But uh, I mean, if you got an RV with air conditioning, I guess, but there's no shade and uh, plus no privacy. But anyway, so we're gonna come in here. I'm, I'm gonna get this scout camping area. I've never seen anybody in here camping. And uh, boy, I mean, so if you wanted to come and tent camp, you could just come this way. You don't have to go all the way out to that uh, primitive campsite. And uh, I, I, this is a real nice camping area. And uh, I wouldn't mind because then you got the bathrooms right there. If you want to get a shower, you know, you don't have to go hike in from the woods because that primitive campsite, it is a ways back in there. Man, did they take the picnic tables away? No, there's, there's one. Okay, yeah, so let's get on back in here. So, you know, this would be a nice place to throw up a tent. Uh, so we'll, we'll get going and uh, we're going to head on this way. Notice I have the walking stick. I love it. I love it. I got that uh, motorcycle completely outfitted now for hiking. And uh, you got a little fire pit, you know, so you could bring some firewood back in here. I've kind of hiked up this way. It doesn't really go anywhere. And uh, we shouldn't see any bicycles today. I'm hoping that I won't get too wet. I did not bring the hikers for that very reason because I thought uh, they're pretty tough to clean. So I got some cheap old tennis shoes on that I don't mind wrecking. Uh, you know, I have to probably get home and scrub them down because I bet we're going to hit some some wet areas out here. But it should be just me. I bet we don't see a single person today on the trail. All right. I know I'm taking too much video right here at the beginning, but I wanted to show you what I was talking about. See, now here's the here's the bike trail. Camping area is right over here. So you can see bikes and foot traffic. And then right here it says uh, foot Foot travel welcome, which you can also, it's got the Florida Trail symbol, but it's also got the bike symbol, so you are sharing the trail with the bikes. I wanted to get this on the video, another different look. See how we're kind of moving in and out of grassy areas. Kind of a dead tree right here. 
that's uh that's pretty cool i love it love it love it love it here's a weird looking rock for you not that far back in here you could come right here and have a picnic use that as just a picnic bench maybe bring uh, some clippers and you could clip along here you know, just a little bit kind of neat all right that's why it's worth the trouble out here see what the still looking like real pretty section of the florida trail i love these magnificent trees that we have here in florida i mean i bet that thing's hundreds of years old uh what the that's uh, if actually ferns grow right on the tree i always think that's cool i can't remember what they're called but uh so this is it it goes on this way looking about the same here when i get a different look we'll cut the video back on and uh but you can see boy it's just a it's just a beautiful beautiful hike you know too bad we won't see any people <laughs> so i mean you know at least i'm not going to get run over by a bicycle i came out here one day i don't know whether it was a a bicycle club or something but there was a lot of bikes on the trail so anyway that's it for now here's another oak tree with the ferns on it isn't that cool so this is going to be a, a, a day long hike you know when you drive an hour to get to the doggone trail you know you got to make sure you got plenty of daylight it stays light here in florida now till eight o'clock with daylight savings time we got started about 1 30 i'd say because it took me Took me about an hour getting here, so I left at 12, 12, 12 30, somewhere around in there. But uh, you can see it's uh, it's just kind of the same look. Another cool rock right there. Oh, bike behind me, hold on. So I've got a little different look, kind of come off trail just a little bit. You can see it's a permafrost, and we got this grassy area that we've been kind of hiking beside. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. It's a uh, uh, but I wanted to get that grassy. That's the thing I love about Florida is you, you get in the trees and then you just dive right into a grassy area. And you know, we had those huge oaks back there. Uh, I like how narrow the trail is. It looks like they let it grow up just a little bit. Bad for the bikes, good for the hikers. All right, we're rolling. Well, anyway, it's a different look with the plants. You know, and yeah, the guy on the bike he turned around, so I did see somebody today. That's good, but. Yeah, I do hate, maybe someday they will cut in a foot traffic only trail. Because, you know, when, when these guys on the bikes, they're, I mean, they're amazing. They can really go fast. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're walking around a turn, you know, that's a recipe for, for an accident. Because <laughs> they're going to they're gonna run right over you. There's no way to hear them. I got my headphones on. So, you know, I mean, I wouldn't hear them coming. But uh, anyway, it was good. Uh, I think that was the same guy. We turned around too quick because I, I was thinking, man, at least he'll bust down all the cobwebs. But uh, unfortunately, he's already heading back. So you can tell we're ways out here now. All right. Whoa. So I thought this was pretty cool. Another grassy area. Just kind of hiking the actual trails right over here. But you can see 200 is just right there. That's uh, So we're we're not that far back in here. So the other thing I like, uh, you know, if, if, you're, if you are hiking this trail, you know, you can feel really, really safe. I mean, I'm sure there's bears. Here's, here's some more of what I'm seeing. I'm sure there's bears and stuff back here. But, you know, when the trail's this heavily traveled, you know, quite often, that keeps the animals away. Um, so you really, really are safe here. I wouldn't worry about bringing bear spray or a gun or anything like that. I, I think you're going to be just fine. And I get a lot of horses here too. There wasn't too many in the campground back there. But uh, anyway, so here we can see the trails going this way. That's the horse trail there. All right. Okay, I haven't been here before. Because I obviously did not know. But this is, uh, this is interesting. I mean, it's seeing the Florida trails going this way. But I thought I just came up the Florida Trail, because there it is right here, you know, because you see the symbol right here on the sign. And then it's breaking off and going this way. I'm pretty sure this is going back towards uh, Shangri-La. I just don't know what this trail, we're going to have to come back and hike this sometime. I don't know. I can't imagine where that's going, because there's a the trail back at the campground goes across 200 and back into the woods that way. 
unless this somehow it loops around and goes back to the camp. I have no idea. We're going to come back and hike that. Like that's part of the Florida. I mean, it's obviously Florida Trail. So anyway, we're taking the left fork here and uh, we'll keep on going. Well, this is excellent. Uh, well, it looks like we've got a little camping area right up here. I'm going to hike up and get that on the video. And of course, the trail's continuing on this way, but uh, we're not that far from the um, the uh, uh, parking area there at Ross, Ross Prairie. So if, if you were uh, backpacking, you could come back here. Let's go up there and take a look. This is excellent. We're on top of a hill. As you saw, I had to hike up that hill. So if you did get a big storm blow in, the rain's just going to go right off down in there and off that way. But you see, you got a fire pit and the fire the picnic table, you know, they could uh, come back and, but it's not broken, so you, you could definitely use it. Another uh, Boy Scout project. God, I wish they were still around. That's, that's where a lot of this stuff got made, but that's, that's a good seat. I don't think that's going to break on you. The other thing that I really like is if you've got a water saw, which I do, you got plenty of firewood right here. I mean, look at that. You could, you could cut that up. You know, you don't have to hike your firewood back in here and, uh, and have you a nice fire in that fire pit. And the good news is it's not completely full, you know, so you can, you can have a nice fire. Oh, I love this camping spot. Man, I got to get my backpack and stuff out. All right. Well, kind of, kind of disappointed here for this section of the trail. I mean, it's good that there's foot traffic only. I like that. But we're just hiking basically right next to the bike path. You can see it right over here. So once again, I mean, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of here on this trail at all. Um, just to get, uh, well, I'm, you know, since we're just by the bike path, we'll, this might be the last video for this section of the trail anyway. But, uh, um, so it's, uh, you know, I like to feel like I'm way back in the woods. Looks like we're coming up on a road here. I know exactly where I'm at. So uh, this is the bike trail. You know, if you hit it that way, you're going to go back to uh, Shangri-La. And that's probably that Florida Trail that's going to take you back there. Um, so this is the end of the paved trail. Uh, so we are going to go across this road up here. Um, but you do, have, you know, this is the, at the end of the bike trail, you have this nice picnic table. Let's just keep on going. So I was wrong about where I'm, I'm, I was at. I, we didn't get, we didn't hike back towards Shangri-La, but we will eventually. Um, but I've seen cars parked here and I was wondering about this. This is the end of the bike trail. So literally this is 200 right here. Um, so you could park here and uh, get onto the paved bike trail if you wanted to, but you can see it looks like the uh, Florida trail and the bike trail are gonna merge here. Let's get on across. So like I said, every time I hike, <laughs> it's always not the hike that I'm expecting. I'm about 99% sure this is gonna take me right back to the um, Ross Prairie area and then it keeps on going into the woods from there. So maybe we'll, we're, if we're gonna do a little different hike than what I'd planned, I would planned on hiking back to Shangri-La, that would be that right turn way back. So uh, we'll just take this on back to Ross Prairie and then uh, maybe we'll go on, I'll show you a little bit of that trail going the other way and uh shoot maybe get a get a picnic hey there's a beetle check him out cool huh Whoop, there he is wow he's fast sucker all right so let's let's hike on back to ross perry i'll uh get a snack and uh have a have a cold one drink some water and uh we'll get back and then take that right for it maybe we can get to shangri-la if this takes me back but i'm pretty sure this will I just thought this was cool. Get this, uh, man, I passed some massive oak trees, but I've already got enough of them on the video. But uh, see how that's kind of winding around? I always like that, it gives you that feel. Of, you know, and we, I'm not getting the car noise now, so we are back in here a little ways. That's good. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, if I'm not hitting back <laughs> into a raspberry, it's gonna be a long hike back. I can tell you that right now. So, but uh, anyway, so we, but I'm about 90% certain. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is a very nice touch to the trail. 
you know, I'm, I just came up a big hill, so we got the heart rate up just a little bit, not, not too much, but uh, we're up here on top of a ridge. And I always love hiking along a ridge, so you can see it kind of goes off to the right and goes down to the left. So I always just enjoy being up high. It's, uh, it's, it's, this is nice. So we're about two hours into the hike. So I'm getting a real different look here. I wanted a good long hike today. <laughs> I think I'm lost. Because uh, I really thought this was just going to hit back towards uh, Ross Prairie. And uh, just down 200. But you can tell we're way back in here. See how you're not hearing that car noise? So I don't really know where I am. I'm going to have to look at a map to understand where I went wrong. Wait a minute, we're coming up on something here. Hold on. Ah, now I feel better. My sense of direction is pretty doggone good. So you can tell what, what we're going to do. 0.7 miles this way takes us back to Ross Prairie. And I'll get us coming into the... Uh, the area there get a snack and uh, maybe head back out um, so next to the next hike out here is we're going to be going this way Pruitt Trailhead I've never been there and uh, but I have hiked this trail a good long ways so it looks you see it's 5.2 miles so that's gonna be a big hike and uh, and of course the uh, 49th Avenue Trailhead which we've we've gone that way and we're going to be heading back that way uh, on another hike and we'll get that on video got a little little book here that you can wonder if the book I don't see the where's the oh yeah here we go Whoop. it's uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be on hinges I'll put it back you can tell it's in a it's in a plastic bag there if you want to sign it just to say you've been here so let's get on back to Ross Perry get a get a lunch I'll get the the, the last video of of this hike uh, coming up into the uh, the campground there and uh, like I said I've done this but I haven't gone that whole 5.2 miles uh, That'll be, uh, that'll be, well, shit, that'd be a 10.4 10 mile hike. Uh, I'll have to really plan on that one. That's going to, that's, that's, uh, that's a big hike for me. I can't, I'm not even sure I can do that. But uh, I'll give it a try, you know, if we have to turn around. Because, that, cause, you know, it's not just getting there. <laughs> you got to get back. So, uh, but that, uh, that would be, I'd have to start about 9 in the morning. And that'd be at least 8 hours of hiking. For sure because then when i used to backpack i mean without the backpack i can go a little bit faster about three miles an hour so you figure let's see three six nine so that'd be about four probably about a five hour hike for me because i'm i'm not doing quite three miles an hour i do maybe two and a half or so all right here we go. let's wait till we get to the campground okay as usual like kind of just like the look this is the trail out from the ross prairie area that's going to get you out to the florida trail i'm kind of seeing how this works now these these are side trails and the actual florida trail you know was back there um so if you did want to do a you know a nice little loop that was pretty good you come out of ross prairie on the, the bike trail there and then you make a left on the florida trail and that'll bring you right back to this path which is just 0.7 miles back into the uh, ross prairie area for a little different hike if you just didn't want to do the the Ross Prairie Trail. How long did it take me? Well, I'd say maybe uh, two, two to three hours uh, and that's a good hike you know uh, for me anyway so uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I, I wanted to get more than that so like I said well maybe we'll head back out and uh, do but I hate I hate hiking the same trail again but I don't think I'm up for doing the whole Ross Prairie Trail. But it would be nice because I could just leave the phone behind and, and just hike with the stick and uh, listen to the radio. All right. But I did, just wanted to show you a different look. Kind of a pine forest here. So, all right. Well, I wanted to get this. It took me, I bet it took me five minutes just to get across that road. Everybody in the universe is moving to Florida. Uh, holy moly. But this is, I'm um, coming right back into the Ross Prairie area. Hopefully you'll recognize this. Uh, so you you just go right across the uh, 200 if you, <laughs> if the cars will ever give you a break. And this is that fence that I was showing you when we started the hike. So I'll just kind of get the, get up here just a little bit and then we'll, we'll end the video there. 
So uh, you can see uh, there, there's a few cars in the parking lot. This is a Monday, and uh, there's the campground. So you just hike along this fence if you're going to go this way. And that wouldn't be a bad way to get over to uh, 49th Street, is to go this way rather than hike on the bike trail, which, which I did on the way out, because at least you get foot traffic only that way. Uh, and you don't get run over by a bicycle <laughs> So let's uh, let's have a picnic and uh, I might just take go. I've been enjoying riding the motorcycle today I might go down uh, 200 see if we can find that Pruitt uh, Parking area just for a ride, you know, uh, I don't like being on main roads like that with the I like riding through the country so the first first right I see we'll do a little exploring and uh, that'll Maybe and then maybe come back here later on today, do another hike. Try to only get the weird stuff on the video. I just came down a long dirt road. And I came to this. Looks like a church at the end of it. There's a pot kettle there. There's a hole. But I wanted to see the cemetery. But it looks like it just dead ends right here. I was looking for the Florida Trail. Kind of weird. But let's uh, read the dedication here. Dedicated the memory of those veterans interred here at eternal peace. Uh, Ed DeWald Veterans Club of Cherrywood. United Daughters of the Confederacy. I'll be darned. General Robert Birdlock, Chapter 2420. This is a fresh flag here. And uh, wow, a little cemetery. Just exploring, but I just thought this was unique. I'm not going to go in. But, uh, I mean, is that a, somebody living there, maybe? I don't know. Talk about being in the country. Wow, I mean, there was nothing on that road. Not a thing. I mean, not a single house. That's why I thought I was... In fact, I, I seem to recall that the Florida Trail crosses a dirt road. And that's why I thought, well, you know, this would be a nice place to pick it up. So that I don't have to walk, walk 10.4 miles... Um, I'm going to walk over here. Here's another sign. Probably just the same thing. Memorial Gardens. and uh, But it's just kind of kind of weird. Why would you have a dirt road that just kind of dead ends right here? So here it says uh, Cedar Grove Cemetery Memorial Gardens. And then it does give a, a Bible verse here. We'll read that for you. For God so loved... Uh, so loved something... The world... That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, wow, so loved the world. That's what it is. Huh. Here the gates open. It's got a fresh flower on there. But you can kind of see, you know, there's an area right there. Man, talk about a, a wonderful place to be buried. I wonder if I, being a veteran, I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue with this as my final resting place. Hmm. All right. So, part of being out is just to go exploring, and I was looking for the next trailhead for the Florida Trail. I don't remember what it was called. We got that on the video a while back, but I found this. This is the Halpata. Tastan Aki Preserve. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, so this looks pretty cool. I mean, look at here. You come in right here. This is where I'm at. We're just off of 200. I mean, really, I'm just. I just came up the road just a little ways. So it's showing hiking. Um, some looks like there's some fishing back in here. Okay. Hmm. We're going to come back and do this next. I was going to just do the, well, we might, we'll probably do the right fork of that Florida Trail first and then come over here another day um, and then hike some of this. So, and this is, uh, this is the information about it. Uh, welcome to the South Florida Water Management Distance Conservation Lands, which were acquired to protect water and ecological resources of the region. And, and then, of course, gives you the rules. And then they've got this big sign right here <clears throat> which is pretty cool I, I I guess the trail just goes right down that road and this is uh, there's the big sign you can see that it's it's hiking 
horseback riding, fishing, and of course bicycling. Never even knew this was here. Well, let's keep on going on down 200, see if we can find another entrance to the uh, to the Florida Trail. Man, I'm just out riding. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to hike all the trails around here. This is the I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. With the luck, cool. There we go. State Oxbow Recreation Trailhead. Looks like you got hiking. It must be camping back in there and fishing. We'll get over here and look at the sign. There was another trail right down the street here that's a pond trail, and that's about a 1. Uh, 1. 1.5 mile hike. Uh, a couple cars there. This one looks like it might be a little more interesting. Here's what we got in Florida. Now look at it, Matt. Woohoo! See them scrambling? Those things hurt when they bite. They hurt real bad when they bite. All right, let's get over to the sign and take a look. Well, this is pretty cool. The Oxbow Bend Recreation Area is a joint venture between the Division of Forestry, Two Mile Prairie Track, sponsored by the Crystal, you know, Troop 415, Methodist Church. This is an ongoing party. I opened this walk of the river for your enjoyment to the public. This is cool. You can come right here and just have a picnic at this picnic table, although <laughs> it's sunk down in that sand. But I think I'm going to sit there for just a few and rest because I've been riding for a while. But here's a picture of the trail. Boy, that looks doesn't that look awesome? I bet that's going to be a fun hike. But if you just did that trail up there, the pond trail, and then came here, yeah, that's a good three three miles of hiking right there, maybe a little more. And uh, you can really enjoy. I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> looking for an entrance to the, the Florida Trail. So here you can see it. Here's it's called Oxbow Trailhead. So you got this right here, and then we're we're here, or you are here. I'm at Oxbow. I'm sorry. It's a Johnson Pond Trailhead. That's the other one. So uh, I guess you could you could scan that. You know, uh, two mile prairie track. Wow, cool. I mean, I'm not finding the Florida Trail, but I am finding a bunch of new hikes. I uh, definitely going to come back here and spend a day. On this trail especially, this looks a lot better than that other one. All right.